Hey guys, um, as you will be totally aware, um, I'm all for talking about mental health as much as possible, getting it out there, trying to get people to understand it, which is difficult because when you've got mental health issues, you don't really understand it yourself. Um, but you know, we keep on, we keep on trying to educate people as best as we can. Um, so yeah, it's just like a little vlog of where I'm at right now. <sighs> I've been doing pretty good. Been doing pretty good lately. I've been recognizing my triggers. Um, I've been recognizing when I'm in a depressive mode in particular and trying to find ways of combating it and digging myself out of the depression. Do I have anything in particular to be depressed about? No, not really. I'm pretty lucky. Um, I got everything that anyone could really want, and I'm aware of that. Um, but as anyone that knows uh, about suffering with depression, that's exactly how it goes. Um, this, my mind is just racing continually. I'm trying my best to live in the moment. Because I know that that's what's best. Um, but like. Uh, I just struggle with. Working so hard. At keeping myself. Uh, in a good positive frame of mind. Um, and not letting that black dog. Um, dictate. My life. And I can do that quite often, quite easily. I can do it pretty well. But it only takes such minor things for all of that hard work that I've done or we do um, to make everything come crashing down. Um, and it can be sort of simple throw away comments um, to anyone that doesn't suffer with anxiety and depression or their mental health. Um, you know, they will say whatever and, and move on from it, but you're stuck living uh, and thinking about this, this, this comment or whatever for a long time. You dwell on it a lot longer. You, you can't just brush it off um, like someone who doesn't suffer with their mental health. Um, and I've got a couple of things in particular, uh, which I'm not going to go into detail about really. I'm not comfortable enough to, to completely open up about that, which I don't know whether it's the right thing or the wrong thing. Um, but there's a couple of things at the moment, and uh, I don't know. I just, I just continually, when I'm in this kind of place, I continually have these feelings of being completely misunderstood. Um, I always feel like I'm trying to do the right things, um, not inconvenience people, try my best to help um, where I can. Um, and I don't know, it just doesn't, I don't know, it's really hard to describe, <laughs> it's just so weird. Um, I know that I've got to try and pick myself up and, and get out of this one. I said about starting a stream up today, and the more that I've not booted a stream up, the more the depression is, it's like a, an oil slick. 
that's what it feels like. Um, the depression is like this oil slick that just kind of consumes everything. So like, I have this this good idea of of helping myself, some self help by by doing a stream or whatever. But then, like I say, the depression being the oil slick just kind of slowly, slowly puts its horrible dark matter all over the positive thing that I want to do in order to try and help myself, the depression just like holds you back massively. Um, and it makes you just want to just go to bed, just be in a room on your own, just sit down and dwell and do nothing. And I can understand that to anyone that doesn't suffer that it just you know it just sounds stupid, it just sounds so stupid, and I can understand that totally um you know it's like just just get up and do the thing that you wanna do you know it's it's just not as easy as that um I don't know why it's not it's just it's just odd i mean I've been diagnosed with anxiety and depression since last August so I'm coming up to a year of being diagnosed with it um, and it's been an interesting year because I've learned quite a lot about it and I've had some really good sort of positive stretches um, but like I say I just feel that it, it almost feels like the, the, the world is against you almost um, and that it's always trying to find ways of taking you down and putting you back in the place where you don't want to be. And it generally succeeds, and and that sucks. Um, yeah, I just wanted to vlog. I just wanted to vlog this. I just wanted to get this message out there. I don't know if anyone's going to even watch this video, but it kind of feels good for me to talk about it. So even if no one watches this, I guess it's it's this is just me kind of freeing my mind up a little bit. It's not going to fix everything or anything. Um, but it feels like a relief to get it out. I know I need to get more help. CBT is is definitely what I need to to get um, sorted for myself. Um, I'm not really interested in pushing my medication up. I just, I just wish other people, um, could try and understand it from my point of view a little bit more. But I don't know if that's ever going to happen, and that's kind of scary because that just means that we're just in this vicious sort of continuous circle where you're happy uh but but continually sort of waiting for someone to come and fuck that all up for you um and that's basically kind of where i'm at and you know it's as much as it's hard for us that suffer with our mental health i'm also like totally aware that it's ridiculously uh difficult for people around me that don't suffer with it try and get their head around it and understand what's going on in my head um it's just weird it's just really strange but right now right at this very moment the sort of the depression has got such a great hold of me i'm really struggling to push myself through it to go do you know what fuck this i'm just gonna boot up a stream um and i kind of know deep down inside it's probably the best thing that I can do is, is take my mind off things and do stuff like that but I don't know the, the depression holds you it just has this fucking crazy hold over you I don't know how it does it I just I don't I don't get it um, I don't understand it but uh, you just continually questioning stuff and it just becomes really tiring um Anyway, I don't think I've got much more to say right now other than that's kind of where I'm at. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Um, but yeah, kind of a mini vlog there really. 
uh, keep talking about it. Um, keep listening. Keep educating yourselves. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that'll do for now. Cheers.